Hey there folks, we are back with another one, and as you can see, we are playing Nume. Um, and we're going second, so that feels good. Um, so yeah, let's just see what happens. Opponent's deciding, and I think this looks like a good hand, so I think we'll keep this. Let's see what the opponent's going to show. What are we facing? Oh, they're going without a hatch, which means it's going to be dailies? Oh, or setcon. Okay. Interesting choice. Interesting choice not to hatch straight away. Um, but we'll just eco here for zero. And then we will just play the, hard play the Numi for three. Chuck the opponent to one. Set up shenanigans. Now they hatch their yellow. Luckily we don't play a lot of options in this deck, so that means not that useful for us. But yeah, they can go ahead and do that. I will definitely take the new mate with a rush. Seems good. And we get the Garamon as well. Nice. So yeah, we are going to hatch and gain the memory. Then we'll play out the Nimi. Get the draw, feels good. The draw here for zero feels great. We're currently at one. Um, yeah, so I think this just feels really good. Yeah, and we'll just save the. Sasuke. Probably should have just swung with it, Yuko. But also as well. Don't want to hit Tamers. Having three Monza X's in the hand feels bad. But yeah, playing, there's a lot of setcon out here on the simulator at the moment, and I don't understand why. Because <laughs> um, it's not as if it's quick battles that you're getting against people. So it's not as if, you know, or I'm worried, like, ugh, I don't know. I feel like setcon, when there's a ladder system, setcon will become more prominent, because it will make people just quit early, because they're like, oh, I don't want to play setcon, quit. And then it'll just be easy laddering for setcon people. Um... So yeah, I feel that could be a... People are like, oh, we should have a a ladder. I feel that being the um, <laughs> the counter to it. But yeah, I think when we digivolve this, we get to just play... From my hand. So we can play out the Gera. And then the Gera, we can use the trash if we can see another card. But yeah, the opponent's at two... Taking a really long time to decide what they're going to do. Really great content that I'm giving you here on YouTube. This might just be one video if it's just setcon. Um, but we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, the opponent's taking a really long time. I, I don't know if there's a, uh, a timer system on this. And I don't know whether it's worth just dropping out of this setcon match. If the opponent is taking this long to think about what they're going to do. Confusing. Um, shout out to the simulator for giving us lots of other things though. Like giving us lots of other good times. <laughs> Except when a player takes nearly 
two minutes to decide what they're going to do. Oh, and here comes the Seraphi. There we go. Oh, my mom's here. Um, I mean, this way we get the tamer out for free, which feels good. Oh, I can just play. Can I just play them on? No, I can't play them on. Uh, yeah, I feel like this. This feels like a good play. I mean, we're playing into death X's, unfortunately. But I also feel just kink constantly gaining memory feels quite good. Oh, and then we see a Monza as well. So we will raise. We will hatch. Now gain a whole load of memory. I can't digital up until we're here. So I feel that's probably my best bet. It feels bad drawing in a Numamon deck, but at the same time, you can just see our pieces. Oh, let me see a merciful mode. Okay, interesting. Um, so yes, we're all here for zero. Play a level three or play a Numimon. I might as well just play the level three. Let me just neck a whole load of DP off of this. Um. Is it just once per turn? He is, isn't it? Yeah. Um. Oof, this feels really bad. Um, I mean, we can just swing this and get two checks off. Seeing those the wrong way around. Not my Ukoman. Maybe I should have just played out the Gera one <laughs> before doing the Mosaics. Then I would have been able to delete it. And I would gain that three memory back. So it would have felt good.
opponent taking just a really long time to make choices. Definitely should have played out the Garymon. And then done the Monzai X. Because then I would have been able to delete that. So yeah, learning. So yeah, something just, just a one cost Digivolve by trashing the Garamon. Yeah. And then just Digivolve here. I'm interested to see. Turn my opponent to one. Can minus seven k off if they want to. If they've got another level six, but they've got a death X instead. Yeah, we're getting a whole load of memory, which feels good. Forcing an eight K Wow, all of the Plan and Numes. See an Uko, we see a Chimera. Which feels good. Um, okay, so here we go into Chimera. <laughs> Gives us white, gives us black. I mean, this way we get a second new X under there, which feels somewhat good. Um, I guess we just swing again.
Oh, we didn't put yellow in the source. Um, we should have put yellow in the source because then we could have Venus here. Um, I will just play out a new X then. And then the Eagle Mon gets deleted. Oh, play cost. Definitely should have put yellow in the source. Long goo. Okay. Oh, that's definitely not the one you wanted to do too. But that's fine. Because as far as I'm aware, I have two new EXs should be popping off after this. Mimi. Um. So if we want to play out a Platinum new main. And then, might as well. And then we get the other one, and we'll play out. You can play out another Platinum new main. And is that just the best bet? To put it, just give me two big bodies that keep me cycling. Yeah, probably. No, thank you. So the thing is, if I draw a Monzo here, which I don't, um, this for two please. Let me see an Agumon. No. Did you go here for three? Oh we see the Monzemon. Finally. Um well did did you go here for four? To turn off these Digimon for a bit? Um, and then we'll just swing for nine. Just swing for nine again. Do we just swing for twelve? And then just you go for three. Oh no, my Ukuman. Yeah, I could be playing this really badly against Setcon. Uh, it could just be me, but I don't know. Maybe there's some new one players in the. Um, in the chat, you can let me know and be like, you should have done this. You don't get when you're digivolving effects, so that's fun.
five is a lot. Um, um, yeah, please. Oh, okay. So the thing is, if I do the... If I... I can play an Agumon, and I don't gain enough memory. So it feels bad. Because um, it would put me on four, and then it would have cost me five to play the Monze. Um, so I think we just swing for nine. Okay. <laughs> That's kind of why I want to swing now. I think you just choose the other one. At some point, they'll activate the card, put me down to six. Lovely. Oh, they didn't put anything at the bottom of security. Why was that? What did I miss? Does it just not activate correctly? Is that a bug? Oh, an alarm key. Wish I had a Sasuke in my hand. Yeah, if I had a Sasuke in my hand, would have been glorious. Yeah, I don't understand why that didn't trigger. What did I miss? Because these are both no stacks. Oh, so you may. So they just actively chose not to do it for some reason. They wanted to be on zero security? Okay. Um, is there a better way of doing this? I can do that for three and then Digivolve for three. Then that doesn't give me any effect, so we'll just do this for five. Well, for seven, and then gain two. Um, let's make it this one. Oh, I should make it this one. Let's bring them both down. Probably a good idea. This lets me play out a Numemon. Um, then we Digivolve for zero here. Yep. So play out the Gary. Um. Minus six KPP on the Seraphi. Um, we'll not use this. Cool, we can just get another one here. Oh, and we said the Azulong Ace. It's only fives or lowers. Um, so let's just turn off uh, row mode. Hmm. 
no, not my number mark. Um, just play out this one then. <laughs> the undeletion one. So now they're at zero security. Uh, they can't swing on me. They don't get the wind digivolving effect of ruin mode. They can't digivolve into ruin mode and get it to end of attack on deletion. So I think we've got them in a lock here. But I'm not 100% sure. It's setcom, they can always do shenanigans. Um, but yeah, Venusmon coming in clutch with the. They don't get the wind digivolving effects. Yeah, there we go. Oh, is this play from hand? Sure, you can have the worm onto. Put a new me accent in you. Yep. Um, nope. I suppose we could have, but do I have to trash a new one card? Or is it just it's trash a new one card, right? Uh, yeah. Didn't have one. Feels bad. Could have deleted old. Could have deleted that. Which might have felt good. Okay, they're just going to holy wave. Pray they can live. Oh, the Lion Monty is deleted. No! But yeah, it's good to play out another one. Play out. I might as well play out the Blind and Nume. Why not? Nope. There you go. We see a Sasuke, which feels good. Um. Yeah, everybody's about to. We're about to gain three memory, which feels really good. I'm trying to decide whether digivolving to Agurex is worth it. Let's just say that it is. We see them on day X. Feels good. Um, put these two this way around. Um, okay, so now we just swing with this one. It's a Mimi. And we don't have any yellow seven aces just yet in the game. So Venusmon can eventually swing for game. And you may be set calm there. Um, that only took 30 minutes. So we can get one more game in probably. Um, and hopefully we don't face off against set calm again. Just because this video then will be 60 minutes. And we're playing against Ducky. So... Good chance of us not seeing Setcon here. Uh, we'll keep this hand. Um, we will just Uko. And we will Sasuke. And we will make it the opponent's problem. Did I say Nume? I meant Uko. We see a Monty, which feels really good. Um, we'll just play a Sasuke. Mother. 
Could this be black blockers? Could this be... Yes, it is black blockers. Okay. Okay. So yeah, so we'll raise this one here. We'll hatch. We'll get a memory. We'll play this one here. Uh, so in this deck, we've just got to go quick, really. Um, just because they're going to have a big blocker probably next turn. Um, so then we will just... You may X. And then just Monza on top of this. There we go. Hopefully we get this Monza gets to stay around. But they don't really have any removal in the deck unless they're, they're changing any of this list, really. Most of the black blocker decks are just, you know... Playing all the hybrids, making Mother into a big blocker. So. And then I'm going to guess somehow make Mother a blocker here. If you get two answer spins. There you go. So I kind of just have to pretty much just try and stay ahead here. Um, maybe we'll hatch again. Thank you. What did you want the tomb on here? Can we see some? Okay, we can see some new maze here. All right, we'll do one. Let me see. This new May. Um, yep. I also play Black Tamers that I try not to send with the Digimon that's underneath them. Um, you can get Rush, even though it doesn't matter. Kind of wasting all of our resources here. That was probably a misplay. Um, in the grand scheme of things, but we also have the Wary Monzo for the turn after, which feels good. Um, yes, please. Trash this to draw two. Lovely. Okay. Yes, please. Lovely. So the good thing is that Satsuki is Satsuke is always turned on because Mother is basically always on the board, um, and we're making it so they have to either have the hybrid to make Mother into blocker or have another Zubagon punch, and they've only got four cards in their hand. So the hope is that I'm just going quicker than they can spawn out the blocker, which is not true, but at the same time. Again, they don't play any form of removal, so again, I just have to outspeed what they're currently doing. Okay. <laughs> if you want to. This is probably not going to end well for you. Um, yes. My question is, do I just go... Yeah, I might as well just go even wider, might I? Um, we don't get to see any of these cards, which feels really bad. So you're just dead. <laughs> sorry. Also, really not sorry. Um, um, draw one again. Uh, 
way out the Garimon. the platinum to draw two. Lovely. Um, it's feeling really good right now. So it's digivolving here for zero. Um, my main thought is that we digivolve this one into then we Chimera using the two bodies that are oh no we want to put we want to put new X on top of this one just so we can get that recursion oof we see the Monza as well um, so then we get rid of the two rush bodies this one this one that rush there we go. Nume, and we will just pop a new command underneath, apparently, as the only choice. So yeah, so you can now block twice. Um, This one I get another I get another body out, so I feel fine swinging with this one. So yes, you can block if you want to. Yeah, it's fine. I don't mind. I felt this deck needs some red, needs some crimson blaze. Uh, yeah, so they won't activate that, but they'll get another block after this. My question is, do I need to trash to gain memory? Um, let's say no. Um, so I think you're the next best one to block because um, I get another one after after you. Okay, yeah, you can block again. Get another new move from Trash. I just get another Platinum new move, but I think I want to keep Monze's. I want to keep something so I can Monze after this. In case you see the one say X. Um, this Garamon doesn't matter, so this Garamon can go in. Cool. This Ukamon can go in. They see a Sasuke. Okay, this Chumon can go in. And if they don't block this, then I just keep my Monza X there, because I might as well. At least you lose nothing by doing that. Lovely. Got the opponent down to one security. 
which feels really good. Um, do I just want to hard play this for the pff, for the memory? Uh, I kind of do. Yeah, I kind of do. Yeah. Yep, just want to put a new max underneath you. Great. Um, so yeah, we'll just play out this one. This one, but won't use it. And then we will just Venus, like so. Shut off the ability for you to get blocker next to turn on anything. You have one security. I have a hell of a lot of bodies. So yeah, like it's all well and good having your one big blocker out, but you know a deck like Numi can just completely outspawn you and make it so that this your deck doesn't really have a chance because of how wide it can go. So yeah, here comes the Pokemon. Wish I still had the uh, Chumon out. That would have been nice. Because, yeah, my thought is, what do I do if they can get to a level 5? Which they can do. Um, but you don't get your own Digivolving effect. But you can get your plus 2. And then you can Digivolve into a 5. But then I can just Digivolve into a Zulong Ace. And so that feels really good. Um... And also, if they don't have a blocker, then it doesn't even matter. But yeah, I was just searching for Ravinas. That's why I was drawing so much as well. I was just shut off this to make it so it's only the option. Oh, there we go. Um, I think I will, with all the memory, I'm going to go to four after this, and I will just go into the, the, we'll just go into the Azulong anyway. I'm going to go to five after this. Then the Sasuke's a what? Just in case they play Megidra Ace or something else that might just be annoying for this deck to deal with. We see a Monza, which feels really good. I 
Might as well just swim with the Deva Ace. Uh, should we swim with the Deva Ace? We'll just swim with the Venus for 12. There you go. The Zubagon Punch was there this whole time. And then we'll just swim with the Ace. And that is game. Uh, we'll leave it there. We only got two games because of Setcon, but uh, I hope you all can see the power of uh, Numi One. Shout out to Huang Zero who won regionals with it, and have a good rest of your day, folks.